Taka Fets YouTube, let's make the easiest six ingredient green seasoning. Now, there are green seasonings that are a bit more complex, you know, and it can be a bit difficult if you really don't know where to start. So let me show you this easy six ingredient green seasoning, okay? So you're gonna need some spring onions, and I have cleaned and washed these. As you can see, they look nice and fresh, okay? We have some garlic cloves over here. I have about eight, roughly. We also have some fresh thyme. I was lucky enough to get this in my garden. Gorgeous. We have some parsley. We have some coriander. And we have some bell pepper. The bell pepper is optional. You can actually use scotch bonnet pepper if you want the green seasoning to be a bit spicy. But I like to keep my neutral, considering I use it for a lot of different things. Okay? So, let's get started. Now you're actually gonna need a food processor or a blender to do this. I'm using this one by Ambiano. I was lucky enough to get it from Aldi here in the UK. So I'm just gonna set it to one side while I just chop all my ingredients, okay? So I'm just rough chopping this and just adding it to my food processor as I go along. Bear in mind, I have washed this already. So for the time, it's actually very simple. All you need to do is to just get the leaves off of the sprigs, okay? You don't want to blend the stalks. See, very easy to do. So now that my time is in, we just wanna go in and just put our coriander. Just give it a rough chop, okay. followed by our parsley. Our garlic. So all my garlic is in, and this is where I just go in with my bell pepper. And I'm only using about half of the bell pepper, okay? Now it's optional, like I said, you can choose to leave this out. You can actually use hot peppers if you want, but I like to keep my green seasoning pretty universal, and it's not everything I'm gonna want hot peppers in, okay? So just rough chop the bell peppers. And that's about it. See this? Gorgeous. So now I'm just going in with some oil to blend that up. You don't need lots of oil. So guys, our green seasoning is all done. Look at how amazing it looks. Guys, and with just six ingredients, that is amazing. This is my green seasoning all done. Do you see how amazing it looks? And listen guys, here is a tip. I like to store mine in the fridge in a glass jar and literally I use a clean spoon every time I take some out. That way it keeps it nice and fresh, okay? Very important that you use a clean spoon every time you're taking some out. Also, this can be stored in the freezer in an ice cube tray if you don't want to make a lot of it and then have it go to waste, then that would probably be the best option for you. So freeze it in an ice cream tray and you can just take it out and put it in some Ziploc bags as soon as it's nicely frozen. Another important thing that I'm gonna tell you, this can be used to season fish, seafood, meat, chicken, whatever, okay? I also use it in some sauces, like if I'm making macaroni and cheese, if I'm making a nice garlic butter sauce, I put some in there. Literally, if I'm making eggs, I put some in there as well. Listen, you guys see me use this in everything, okay? So, the only thing is, I don't eat this raw, but I use it in almost everything. If you've seen my videos, 
you know that my green seasoning is my go to just in case you have any further questions leave them for me down below in the comments and i will answer but for everyone who's been asking this is the easiest six ingredient green seasoning that you'll probably ever make to be very honest with you i hope you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and bye bye